So y'all mean to tell me that a healthy, happy woman will willingly choose to spend the rest of her life by herself? Like, is that what we, is that what we're saying? Yep. So being single by choice is very real, right? Yep. You can be in your single season. You can decide like, I'm just, you know, living my life, not ready for a relationship, not interested in a relationship. And that's okay. But there's one thing to say that this is the choice that I'm making, that I want to spend the rest of my life by myself, no husband, no kids, no nothing, just me, myself, and I. A lot of you are just BBWs, bitter black women. You need therapy. You need help. You need to go seek professional help. You're bitter. You're angry. You're lashing out at me and other content creators and at people that are simply telling you the truth. So instead of you getting therapy to heal from your childhood trauma, you want to join the sisterhood and other groups and demean disrespect and look down on black men, the same men that you go for after your 35, 40 years, three baby dads and five kids. Get out of here. What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell. That will let you know every time I upload content, you know what we're gonna do. Yep. Roll that clip. Mm, I find it hard to believe. It sounds like a lot of bitter, broken, unhealed, unhappy women. Got them. We fucking got them. And instead of joining all these movements, how about you join a therapy group? Pow. Oh! How about you hit up that number on the back of your insurance card if you have insurance and find out where you can find you a therapist because that's what you need. I, I, I don't, I don't, it doesn't make sense to me. It just, it just doesn't. This is why therapy is so important. A lot of black women are in relationships based off of a trauma bond. For those of you who don't know what a trauma bond is, trauma bonding is as follows. The bond someone feels toward their partner who is perpetuating the A word is often the result of these roller coaster emotions in a relationship, people can't control this attachment. Our brains are wired through our fight or flight response to get through traumatic experiences, like an incident of a word. But seeking comfort and sometimes yes, that is from the very person who has harmed us. A lot of black women get in relationships due to a trauma bond. It all starts at home. Your mother, your father, lack of a father, lack of protection, lack of stability. There is something that you lacked as a woman when you were a child that allows you to be better. Maybe you lacked the love of your mom. Maybe you lacked a father. Maybe you lacked something else. There was something that you lacked as a woman that caused you to react and behave in the way that you do. Let's look at the signs of trauma bonding. And I want you to leave a comment if you experience or have experienced any of these signs. Number one, you're keeping secrets from your friends or loved ones about what is going on in your relationship to protect your partner. You find yourself defending your partner's actions to others. You keep trying to make sense of the situation. Your friends say they are worried about you. 
you work hard to remind yourself that your partner loves you. You get tearful when you think about breaking up or leaving the relationship. You blame yourself for their behavior. A lot of these trauma bones are usually with pookies and ray rays. There is a scientific and analytical reason why women date pookies and ray rays. Modern women date pookies and ray rays to fill the void that they have or had from the lack of a father, lack of motherly love, lack of stability in the home, in family, in friends. Maybe they moved around a lot. But if you look and you study the signs of trauma bonding versus the relationships beside and between Pookies and Ray Rays, you will see that women are innately attracted to bad men based on their underlying trauma. Not all, but the vast majority of women are trauma bonding with pookies and ray rays. That's the reason why there's an endless cycle of hurt and pain. They had or didn't have a father growing up, so they look for a father in the men that they date. They may not have had a mom or a mother's love growing up. So they look for that in the men that they date. Then last but not least, they blame black men. They want to blame men. They blame men for everything. If the light is red or their train is late going to work, they'll blame black men. <laughs> Women. See, ladies, you have to stop blaming black men and blame yourself. Stop it. Get some help. It's your fault that you're still traumatized. It's your fault that you need to seek therapy. And when a woman or a man looks at you and says, you need to seek professional help, you call them a pick me and you view that as an attack. A lot of people, they look at videos like this and like others and they get triggered because we're saying something that you know is right you know we're right. Yep. But because you can't put your pride to the side, you don't want to admit that we're right. You don't want to admit that it is an issue. It is a trauma bond. You're traumatized and you need mental health. But instead of you getting that help, you want to get on the internet, get on Twitter, get on Instagram, look at YouTubers, and leave hate comments in the comment section. A lot of black women are bitter because they're hurt. And instead of getting healing for that hurt, like the old saying goes, hurt people hurt people. It's time to take accountability and responsibility and realize that it's your fault. It's nobody else's fault but you're as to the reason why you're trauma bonding with Pookies and Ray Ray, ending up 30 years old, pregnant, single, and a baby mom and a statistic. That's on you. It's not on me. It's not on anybody else. It's on you. Stop trauma bonding. Stop being lazy. Stop blaming men and blame yourself, take accountability and do better. Don't get better, get better. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content. And you're gonna see me in the next video that's gonna come up on your screen right after this. And until the next video, peace.